Carvel DeWitt would like to invite you in for the freshest handmade ice cream cakes in town. No matter what the occasion, Carvel DeWitt has the cake for you. Carvel DeWitt is starting a new tradition, a free side order of our world-famous chocolate crunchies with every freshly handmade ice cream cake. Carvel DeWitt, it's what happy tastes like. Before the public hearing got underway, opponents and supporters of hydrofracking faced off against one another, separated by a contingent of Binghamton police. This is everybody's movement. It's the 99% and we're going to win it. So thanks for coming. We'll open it up and let's do it. Let's create jobs in New York and let's bring us some money. New York State has not issued a gas drilling permit since 2008. Since then, it has been studying this whole issue of hydrofracking and has now come up with some new proposed regulations. Experts say the Marcellus Shale Formation holds a huge reserve of natural gas, and extracting it could mean thousands of jobs and boost the state's economy. Others claim the drilling process, called hydrofracking, threatens drinking water supplies in the environment. Hydrofracking calls for drilling vertically deep below ground and then going horizontal, then injecting water and chemicals to free up the natural gas. The Independent Oil and Gas Association says the new proposed regulations concerning wastewater and extra containment to protect groundwater would harm the industry by unnecessarily adding a million dollars to the cost of developing each well. Nevertheless, many landowners and workers who stand to benefit support the new standards. Local labor believes that this can be done safely. Uh, we trust the DEC in their decisions. Uh, we want to have local labor jobs, union jobs would be great for us. But environmentalists and other opponents say the regulations don't go far enough. We will not allow our communities to become collateral damage for the profits of the oil and gas industry. Over 1,200 people packed the Forum Theater for this afternoon's public hearing. It's the second of four such hearings to be held throughout the state. Reporting from Binghamton, I'm Jim Kenyon.